Hello everyone. This is a homework problem and is asked to find the power flow solution in MATLAB using the iteration formula obtained by Gauss Seidel method with the information given in the table below. As you can see, this is a line diagram of two buses network system. Take bus 1 as reference for slack bus where the magnitude voltage and phase angle of the voltage are specified. And this is a load bus or PQ bus that the reactive and active power are specified here. The aim of this video is to perform MATLAB program for load flow solution using Gauss Seidel method. In Gauss Seidel method, VIS solve and the iterative sequence become like this. K plus one is the iteration number. When K is equal to zero, we are calculating the first iteration. YIJ represent the actual admittance in per unit. PI schedule and QI schedule are the net real and reactive power in per unit. One important thing to note that for buses where real and reactive power are injected into the bus, like generator buses, PI schedule and QI schedule have positive values. But for load buses where real and reactive powers are flowing away from the bus, PI schedule and QI schedule have negative values, as given here. Now let's write the MATLAB code. I am using the input dialog box syntax, which will appear in the common window. That will enable us to enter different values for the inputs. And you will see at the end of this video. Here all the necessary inputs are defined, such as power at bus 1, self-reactance, impedance between bus 1 and 2, power at bus 2, initial voltage V2, and MVA bus. This will create a model dialog box and return user input in the cell array. The default is common, specify the default value to display for each prompt. So this must contain the same number of elements as prompt, and all elements must be strings. So each of these values are put it inside quotation marks. The values are based on the first row of the table. For Gauss Seidel method, an initial voltage estimate of 1.0 plus J0 for unknown voltage is satisfactory. NumLine specify the number of lines for each user entered value. If we run this portion of code, a new dialog box will pop up as we define. And a nice thing here is that you can enter different values for each of these elements. And the updated values will be considered as a new input values. Since the input values are as a string, S2R2 num is used to convert them into numeric values for each of the elements. In the next step, we need to convert impedance in terms of the bus admittance matrices. Y bus. G1 is uh, a susceptance of bus 1 equal to 1 over Z1, self reactance of bus 1. Y12 is equal to 1 over Z12, which is the admittance between bus 1 and 2. P2 is the real power and Q2 is the reactive power, imaginary part. The complex power S2 is multiplied with minus 1 because the scheduled power for PQ bus must be negative and it is also given as negative value. This is the bus admittance matrices. Y11 include the admittance to ground of life charging susceptance G1 and admittance Y12. Here y12 is equal to minus y12. 
and y22 is equal to y12 because there is no self susceptance this is the gauss seidel method using while loop while loop will operate until error is less than 1 to power of minus 5 the iteration will continue until the change in the real and imaginary components of bus voltage between successive iterations are within specified accuracy here only the gauss seidel formula is assigned to v2e e2 equal to absolute v2e minus v2 is the error between v2e and v2 in memory here v2e is assigned to v2 to keep in memory em is equal to e2 that will create an error array here the maximum value from error array is obtained and compare it with while loop after v2 is calculated now we are able to calculate slack paths real and reactive power line flows and line losses and these are nothing just displaying the results now let us run the code and see the result here in the common window you will see admittance matrix v2 power at bus 1 and line losses you can also solve for the other values just type the values here and click ok let us do it for the second row yes as you can notice the result are changed based on the input values you can do that for the rest thanks for watching if you like the video please don't forget to like and subscribe the video